Tony, thank you very much for joining me. My first guest at the uh, the West African Energy Summit. How's it been for you so far? It's been a great start. Really fun, very well attended, lots of energy in the room and uh, hopefully lo lots of good business to be done. And some VIPs. Yes, we've had two former presidents, uh, Ghana and Nigeria, um, and also royalty uh, here from uh, Accra. So uh, uh, very exciting. Yeah, we're very blessed um, and yeah, it was great to see the crowd's reaction to that. So just moving on to your organization, for those unfamiliar with uh, with Watson Farley Williams, can you give us a little bit of overview of what you do as a business um, and your integration with West Africa? Of course, so we're a leading international law firm headquartered out of London and uh, we focus on three sectors, energy, transport and infrastructure. Uh, and so a conference like this is very much uh, the sort of event that we uh, focus on and uh, hits a lot of um, uh, sweet spots uh, for our business. And what are you seeing in terms of kind of market trends at the moment in West Africa? So look, it, it, obviously it's time of change. Um, you know, we have the whole sort of question of energy transition um, and Africa, West Africa in particular, trying to find its own path um, in energy transition. Um, and, and what we can't forget, of course, is that um, you know, the vast majority of uh, 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 pollution over the uh, decades in the past has not come from Africa, not come from West Africa. And yet um, these countries are so heavily dependent in terms of their um, hard currency revenue on production and export uh, in the hydrocarbon sector. So look, it, it, it's a very sort of uh, sensitive, uh, topical subject, of course, at the moment, but it's very important that um, we actually find a way for Africa and West Africa to uh, 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 continue to develop their economies. And would it be fair to say with the recent change in government and the, and the policy announcements that we've heard um, that places like West Africa are becoming a little more interesting? Uh, yes, look, at, you know, it's not without, they're not without the challenges, of course. Uh, but look, I think there's a real determination uh, amongst uh, most of the governments in the region uh, to really make uh, the countries as attractive as possible uh, to encourage foreign investment. Um, uh, and and I think you know that will continue to sort of grow in pace. Um, so I think it's an exciting time for investors to be focusing here. Good to hear. And, and finally, I suppose, just asking what your thoughts are over the next kind of two years or so. What you might see in the region um, of West Africa? Yeah. So so look, I think um, it'll be a combination of things. Um, there, there are obviously um, it's obviously quite a lot of deep water uh, acreage. Uh, that the uh, governments in the region are trying to uh, get uh, large companies to come and explore and invest in. Uh, but I think there will also be quite a lot of work um, as local companies uh, take over the mantle from some of the sort of international uh, major uh, oil and gas companies who, uh, for a variety of reasons, many of which are well known, are trying to scale back um, their operations, particularly their onshore uh, operations where they've had a sort of, you know, perhaps a mixed uh, track record. Um, and we're looking for local champions uh, to come in to, to fill those, those holes and actually take them to the next level. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining us at the summit and thank you for sharing your insights uh, and enjoy the rest of the show. Pleasure. Thanks, Dan.